Welcome back to the woods, everybody. We are here at camp making some videos for you guys, having a blast with the family as well. And I wanted to do a Technical Tuesday style video and just do a gear dump on the bag that I carry everywhere with me if there's even a thought of camping. So this is what I carry with me in the truck. If I'm doing any sort of camping, even when I have the, the Opus off-road uh, camper with me, I always wanna have these essentials in this bag and I keep them organized and in here. Uh, so they're ready when I need them. The, the bag itself I've had for about 20 years. I got this at a uh, Army Navy store uh, many, many, many moons ago. And it's uh, it's all faded and everything, but it's just a satchel basically. And it's got a little uh, waterproof liner on the inside. So it's perfect for the amount of items I need in here and it's not crazy heavy, but I'm gonna dump everything out. Just do everything one at a time and show you guys what is in here. Because there's a lot of a lot of things in here that I think uh, everybody should carry when they're going to camp. First thing coming out of the top is a little canvas bag. I know it doesn't look like much, but just for anything that you find, collect, maybe you need to make some, uh, some tenders, you need something that you have to dry out, something of that nature. Um, just having like a, a regular Ziploc plastic bag, it traps in the moisture, so this is more breathable. Uh, right now I've got some uh, fat wood in here that I cut out of a base of a one of these pine dead pine stumps out of here So for that kind of stuff, and I'll just leave that kind of in there randomly at the top Next one probably the most important one is my fire kit So I got two of these little pouches in here I got a blue one and I got a black one the black one is for the fire that way I'm reaching in there I know it I know what I'm getting out so I've got some some rope in here so the rope you can uh, make fires with uh, i carry this vaseline the vaseline is great for cut scrapes chap lips all that stuff but it also makes like a candle effect so if you put uh, this rope in this vaseline it's going to hold a flame longer you can do the same thing with cotton balls so i carry cotton balls in here as well and these are inside of a dry bag so i can unzip that and these will never get wet so I got cotton balls inside of there. If I need to get a fire going really fast, um, dire situations, I love to ha have those uh, cotton balls ready. And when I have more time to just practice, you know, typical bushcraft type stuff, it's fun. I do carry a char tin in there. I've got uh, charred punk wood and a little piece of flint inside of there. So we can make our fires with tinders. Uh, and then I'll carry a, a, a ferro rod so I got a ferro rod and a striker inside of there, and then you gotta have a lighter. I mean, when you wanna get it done quick, carry a lighter, but when it's freezing temperatures, sometimes these lighters don't work, so gotta have the other stuff. Fire kit's pretty extensive, all that fits in there, but that way I know wherever I go, I will be able to make a fire with this kit. Okay, now in the blue bag, I carry my cordages. So I got various links in here, and it may start to rain, so pardon the, the drops. I got various links of paracords, I've got bank lines, and I keep them hanked up. Some are about four or five foot, some are about 20 foot, and that way I'm able to tie down tarps, uh, I can run ridge lines, you know, hang stuff, uh, all sorts of things. and. The idea with these is, you know, they, they always are hanked up and I undo them, I keep them in this pouch. I never cut any new cord. I do have a really long paracord in here. This is over 100 feet, I, I forget how long it is, but if I need to, you know, do a big project, I've got that in there. Oh, of course, of course I'm gonna get rained on. Next item in here is a folding saw gotta have a folding saw uh, this is great for hunting too you know just setting up lines and and stands and stuff cut those uh, little branches out of your way get shooting lanes um, you know and a lot of times it's just easier to saw things than it is to cut things so keep that little packable folding saw in there next thing this is just sort of an extra bag but i keep toggles in here toggles and little extra stuff any sort of you know, if I find a flint rock, something in there, 
I can put in there. Uh, there's a few random tent spikes, um, you know, random stuff. But it's an extra bag that I can I can add to as uh, add things to it as I'm out in the woods. Um, the next two things, I, I keep two wedges in here. So I got two wedges where I can split logs, and if my axe gets stuck, that was the other item that's not in my bag, but this travels with me a lot. I keep a little forest axe. Um, if this gets stuck, I'm, I'm gonna be able to get it out with a wedge. You know, I can take another piece of wood, um, hit this into there, and then I can get my ax back. But it's also great for splitting big pieces of wood. So, two wedges, and then at the bottom of my kit, this is uh, kind of like the camp setup basics. So I've got a ridge line that I normally keep in here. It's actually on a tarp right now. I keep tent spikes little bag of aluminum tent spikes. I keep a knife uh, or an ax sharpener. So there's a strop on this outside here. I pull that off and I've got a stone underneath that so I can keep everything sharp. And then inside of here, I've got small little paracords. I've got fishing line and hooks if I ever needed to do any emergency fishing. Um, and so that small paracords just for making little repairs and things like that. And then I keep a small sharpening stone inside of here as well, a rod. And this is a very fine ceramic rod. So if I have like a, a skinning knife, uh, something I want to get extremely sharp, uh, this, this stone will do it. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is made by Spyderco. Spyderco makes the best uh, ceramic sharpeners that I've ever bought. This one even has, it's like a teardrop shape. It has a little... Uh, cut down the middle, so if you want to sharpen hooks, needles, points, anything like that. Um, and it's got that flat side where you can do your other sharpening. And then if you want to do serrations, you've got that teardrop shape where you can do the serrated as well. So pretty awesome little ceramic sharpener. And that just stays at the base of the bag. <clears throat> and then I normally keep some sort of knife in here. And right now it happens to be... Uh, my Blades by Blake custom knife, just a good little camp knife to have in there. Um, nice thick spine on it. And I also keep a Swiss Army knife in here. It's in my other pack right now that I was hiking with. But a Swiss Army knife with all the little tools like scissors, you know, a small saw, little thin bladed knives, uh, stuff like that just for little tasks. Uh, if you need to do any sewing, anything like that. Uh, that's really good for that. So that is the entirety of the bag. I think I have one more little char tin on the outside here. Yeah. Somebody made me a custom char tin with LFG on it. And I've got uh, dried uh, stuff in there for starting fires. So little shavings. So there's quite a bit of stuff in there in that bag, but those are the essentials. I think everybody needs to have this fire kit though. Make you, you know, your custom fire kit, however you like to, whatever tenders you want, however you like to start fires, but keep that on you. And I usually keep another one inside of the truck in a small bag. That way, if I ever get in a situation, I forgot this one, or, you know, I'm stuck somewhere, I have a small little kit. Uh, I call it like my OG kit, and that will get me out of a jam if I ever get into it. So, preparedness. Prior planning prevents problems. That's what my dad always used to tell me. I've got some more camp tasks I gotta do, and then I'm gonna get out of the rain. Thank you guys for tuning in for today's uh, gear dump video, and stay tuned for more. So more videos that we're gonna have up here, it's camping, it's hiking, foraging, fishing, all of that fun stuff. I think you guys are gonna really love it. So subscribe to the channel, smash that like button for the gear dump, and I'll see you guys on the next one.